AM EXPRESS RIGHT NOW. THE TOP STORIES WE'RE FOLLOWING FOR YOU THIS THURSDAY MORNING. A MAN ACCUSED OF KIDNAPPING A YOUNG GIRL IN MORO LAKE STATE PARK LAST YEAR HAS PLEADED GUILTY NOW IN A CASE THAT CAPTURED NATIONAL ATTENTION. CRAIG ROSS JR. ADMITTING HE KIDNAPPED THE YOUNG GIRL AND ATTEMPTED TO DEMAND A RANSOM NOTE FROM HER FAMILY. The CASE WILL NO LONGER GO TO TRIAL. Ross faces 47 years to life in prison, meaning he won't be eligible for parole until he's 93 years old. His sentencing is set for April 17th. Jennifer Ewell and Andrew Tremblay, the founders of Empathy Rescue, who were arrested on animal cruelty charges, posted a $10,000 bond allowing them to legally retain seven of the 100 animals seized from their home and co's last month. Their next court appearance has been scheduled for February 28th. A missing woman in Adams, Massachusetts, found safe thanks to the quick thinking of a National Grid employee who jumped into action. Christina Barnes had last been seen February 15th. Greg Brown, that National Grid worker, says he saw her in the area where she had been reported missing. He recognized the details of her outfit that had been reported to the public, and he immediately contacted police. Again, she's safe and doing well. New York State Police seeking the public's help in finding a stolen light tower. Take a look at these pictures here, just like the ones you see on the side of the road in construction areas at nighttime. State Police say this one was taken from uh, near Branch Boulevard in Wilton. Anyone with information is asked to reach out to State Police. And this is great. A team of budding engineers from Farnsworth Middle School in Gilderland winning the National Future City Competition. Students designed a city of the future from the ground up, beat out teams from 37 U.S. regions and others from around the world. Congrats.